Hi everyone, I'm Miss Claire. Today we're going to talk about qualitative versus quantitative observations. Qualitative, nose, ears, eyes, quantitative, three, four, five. So going off of that, have you guys ever heard of quality versus quantity? I heard it a lot when I was younger when we would talk about Christmas presents. So quality would be things that costed more or you were describing what you wanted and it was usually like a bigger item and you would get like two of them and then if you wanted quantity you would get more presents so qualitative and quantitative are same they're like root words with that qual and quant so qualitative observations are as i said nose ears eyes so things that you smell would be one thing things that you hear that's how you would describe them so like i hear birds chirping right now um and then also things you see so you can that's how you make observations qualitatively you can describe what you see i see birds outside my window um the bumblebee that's flying around out there right now it's yellow black it has a stinger the wings are small things describing words more often than not quantitative data or quantitative observation is essentially numbers so when you're making an observation there's three birds outside there's two bumblebees flying around the window how many legs do we have two things of that nature that's how you would make an observation if you were looking at an assignment and that's what it asked for so i have a little example to show you guys so for this one i have a puzzle um this is an office puzzle i do it religiously there's three of them in here actually but that's gonna be part of it so qualitative observation would be what colors do you see who's what do the people look like that are in here um what just describe each thing so this highlighter is yellow this pen is blue but it has black ink so a lot of colors would be an obvious description um and then if you're going off of quantitative observation then you would do numbers so there's three puzzles in here right here you guys see that yeah um with 500 pieces per puzzle so that would be a quantitative observation another quantitative observation if we're going off people and like what they look like you can say oh look there's four people in this puzzle and three of them are men things of that nature or they identify as men um i also have another example of my little dog here to show you guys come, 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 come sit sit okay she's being a little difficult but anyways so she is so a qualitative observation would be wait let me show the little camera that's her little face <laughs> that's her little face um so you would say if you were doing qualitative observation what are the, some of the things you guys would say yeah you would say brown black white i think on the uh thing that we had to fill out for her it was tricolor i think is what they call it which would be also sort of a quantitative observation but so yeah she's she has brown eyebrows or her paws are white her nails are black things of that nature and then if you're thinking of quantitatively she's one there's only one dog she has four legs she has one tail she's four years old those would be quantitative observations so age is kind of a difficult one because you think of it more of describing someone but in terms of this instance yes age is technically a quantitative observation which is numbers or quantity which is how many right so that is essentially what it would be if we're doing it in terms of a little short presentation so going back to what i said i said qualitative nose ears eyes quantitative three four five okay so that is something that you guys can use to remember it by um so i would do i would uh, ask you to repeat it 